Uh, hi everyone, I'm Paolo Ganis. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Vitacy. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and thank you Francesco, uh, Letizia, Celia for this opportunity. So um, Vitacy is a startup, so I would like to share the story of how a small startup is trying to work on sustainability and many important issues. So I will go and present my company. Can you see the screen now? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. You can Wonderful. go. It's not, it's not in full. You can put it in full, uh, full view. I think it's better. Uh, you can go in view setting and, and put a zoom. Yeah, full screen mode. Perfect. You see that? Uh, full, full screen. screen Perfect. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, at Vitacy, um, we're trying to solve several problems. Um, so, one problem is that people think that uh, pollution is only outside, and uh, this is what TV media show us all the time, and they never show us this. So, this can be your house, your office. Uh, here we're talking about indoor pollution. The bad thing of indoor pollution is that you cannot see it, you cannot feel it. It's, it's really bad for us. And the World Health Organization has in fact stated that indoor pollution can be up to five times higher than outdoor pollution. And why does this happen? Because indoors, we've got so many contaminants that we don't even know about. So we can have viruses, bacteria, uh, when we cook, uh, sprays, detergent, plastic, all this generates pollution and generates VOCs, volatile organic compounds, formaldehyde, many more, that are very bad for our health. And considering that we spend 90% of our time indoors, it's a big, big problem. And unfortunately, millions of people die because of indoor pollution. And also other problems related to um, asthma, allergies, and many other um, loss of productivity and many more. Uh, another big problem is that um, products that solve this are uh, used technologies that are very old and that generate pollution because they often made of plastic, they full of glues, and they cannot be recycled. And the most uh, terrible thing about these products is that they work with HEPA or carbon filters that have to be replaced really often, after three or four months, if you don't replace the filter, uh, the pollutant goes back to your, your indoor area and, um, and then you have to pay for it. And you cannot recycle these filters. More than 100 million filters have been wasted in the last five years. And this amount is going sky high. So starting from these two big problems, so indoor pollution and the fact that the only solution are really uh, inefficient and generate lots of pollution. Oh, we sorry for stopping you. We cannot, we, you are stopped at the first light. Try to um, uh, exit from, you can only see your first slide at the moment. Oh, Try okay, if go. I do it like this. Okay, perfect, now I can see it. Good, oh, okay. good, now so, it's moving, now it's moving. At least with the slide I was showing before, sorry, it was going on. Uh, so as you can see here, it's a big problem. So we came up with an incredible solution for this, and we are trying to combine nature, technology, design, and nanomaterials to solve this problem. So we started uh, testing the power of nature to help us here. We did important laboratory tests at some of the most important um, research labs that we've got in Italy, in, uh, in the Netherlands, and many more, to try and find a, a solution for this problem. So we started with the first product, which is um, called Clary, that could um, eliminate 93% of VOCs in just 30 hours. So what we did was to create a product that um, could enhance the properties of some plants in eliminating pollutants. Uh, this comes from a study of NASA. They found out that some plants have just got this ability to eliminate toxic agents, but obviously a plant by itself can't do much. So we have to find a way to make it more important. We then created and I'd say the evolution of this, uh, of this first prototype we did. And Natere was, sorry, uh, phone call arrived. Can you still see my, my screen? Sorry. Yes, okay. we can. So, so Natere um, uh, is the evolution of, of our previous product and can eliminate more pollutants, also virus and bacteria. We added nanomaterials 
and and increase also the purification process of the of our products. Obviously, the sensors that um, help us in this process of purification also can be connected to your phone, so you can see in real time the pollutant levels that are are going on. Our latest product is Ateria, so um, we've got new nanomaterials that can help us in uh, eliminating um, these pollutants. And the great thing that we're trying to do with our product is a circular economy approach. So not only we are using nature and nanomaterials, so we're using filterless solutions to purify the air, but every single aspect of our products when we design our product is to be uh, eco-friendly and sustainable. So we use recycled materials, we don't use glues, and so everything can be disassembled really easily and can be recycled to give uh, new life to, to, our, to our next products. Um, the market is growing fast, so indoor pollution and also especially because what is happening now uh, because of the pandemic is, is growing fast. And uh, the market right now, as I was saying before, is dominated by HEPA and carbon filters. So filters that have to be replaced, they're ugly, big and, big and bulky. What the market really wants and needs, and we're trying to give this to the market, is something beautiful something that can um, make work technology and nature in harmony. And the most important thing is that it's filterless. So no filters to change and uh, uh, everything is done thanks to nature and nanomaterials. So this is the big value that we're trying to bring with, with our product. Uh, the team is uh, composed by uh, three young entrepreneurs. So uh, I'm the CEO, I work uh, for um, some investment banks, and I uh, did my university in Bocconi, Milan. My two co-founders are Alessio Vincenzo, they're from the Politecnico di Milano, and uh, Marco is the CTO, and he has worked uh, in a lot of several companies in uh, Silicon Valley. Um, just to give a glimpse of what are the milestones that we achieved and why is it so important for the market to have products that are filterless and can really have a huge impact on our well-being, but also be sustainable. Uh, we started in, in the Silicon Valley. So we started from Italy, but then we went to the Silicon Valley where we were accelerated by plug and play ventures. We then launched our first product, a Clary, that reached almost $400,000 in pre-orders. We then got a big investment from the European Union of 2 million euros because they really loved what we were doing with nature, technology, and the fact that our products are really sustainable and we work in a circular economy uh, way and approach. We then won several awards. We won the Bosch startup competition. Uh, so Bosch was looking for the best IoT company in the world and we won uh, for what we're doing with sensors and uh, merging them with, with real uh, nature. Also the PNG the startup competition and Natede with Natede we reached almost a million dollars in pre-orders in just 40 days. Won several design awards. And this was really important for us because it means that people uh, love what we're doing and uh, the design, the circular economy design we're approaching for our products and sustainability is really uh, doing great. Another important aspect of what we're doing uh, to have an impact in the world is to have total control of the supply chain and really trying to work in a very small area. We work in the northern Italy, northeast more or less. And uh, so our suppliers are really near to our factory. So we don't have important shipments. We don't generate lots of CO2. We work a lot on this and this helps the quality of the product and it doesn't have an impact on the CO2 worldwide. We're working on new products that should be available soon. And in conclusion, we're trying to, 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 to serve these markets. So air quality, which we think that is really important and especially uh, and these days, because of the pandemic, we're trying to show the world that uh, green is important indoors and millennials love this. So we, we must do very well here. And um, previous and previous technologies like HEPA and carbon and air purifiers that work with these technologies, try to do upselling with additional filters that generate waste. We are trying to do upselling with big data and artificial intelligence. So we're trying to give data about the air quality and to give it to our customers, both B2C or B2B. 
And finally, we've got a real green spirit. So for every product that we sell, we plant 10 trees in the world. We work with a wonderful NGO that is based in the US that's called Eden River Reforestation Project. And we have planted now over 100,000 uh, trees, mainly Madagascar. And this is something that really people love and that our customers love. And this makes them feel even more part of a, a bigger picture that is based on green sustainability and well-being. So this is Vice I hope you, you like it. And um, if there are any uh, questions, I'm here and please do answer. Thank you very much, Paolo. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. I, I just have a brief question. If you can answer me in one minute shot. Sure. Is, is, is the pandemic uh, changing your schedule or your, your goals? Well, um, there's a lot of things that are happening because of the pandemic. So, but generally people are getting more aware that the air that breathe indoors is important. That the air they breathe must be um, healthy and they must take control of their air. So it's helping us. We are um, starting new partnerships with, with big companies. One, for example, is A2A that uh, uh, pitched before me. So it's accelerating, even though it's difficult for a startup because banks are under stress. It's difficult to find investors because it's difficult also to meet you and okay, we can do it via Zoom. But uh, overall, it, um, we hope that we can, um, we can help in this situation. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations.